My name is David Latoire and I'm from San Francisco and I came up with this idea uh, to explore how much life you can find in a small place through this one cubic foot project. One cubic foot is the perfect vehicle for teaching about ecosystems and biodiversity. So the Seneca Park Zoo Society invited David Lichwager here to Rochester to replicate the project in the Genesee River. And it's this spot right up here. This little uh, green metal frame is put out in the landscape. You have to figure out where you're going to put this. What spot are you going to choose? I'm looking for a place of maximum diversity. There's algae and roots and where can I put this frame that encapsulates the most diversity of life? You have to look around a lot, and that takes some real time and some real attention. And it also is, you know, you're a little nervous. Did I choose the right spot? The turning point is where there's the big public yep. walkway. Yeah, that's, which all of Or is it better, uh, is it better three feet down? The Genesee River has been on the EPA's area of concern list for decades. As the water quality has improved, the zoo and its partners have been reintroducing native species to the river. We invited David to help us find out what's living in the river right now. He searched along about five miles of the river. Yeah, not too shabby, huh? It's beautiful. From the marina up to the lower falls. Spent many, many hours on the river, over three days. And we finally chose a spot that was at Turning Point. This spot in the Genesee River it's one of the more eccentric spots when you compare it to some of the other ones that have done that have been a, a bit more pristine. There's never been any human structure in any of the other cubes. There's two pilings right next to the cube. You know, evidence of, of industrial uh, use of the river over many, many, many decades. This is our spot. You know, as we, as we go through it, we'll find out whether it was a good spot or not. <laughs> 